We're joined now by West Bloomfield Township Assessing Director Rob Scripture on the Megacast. R Rob, thank you for joining us. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being on. So West Bloomfield has a plan in place uh, to gradually return to some sort of normal operations. Before we get to that, what is West Bloomfield's operations at Town Hall looking like right now? What's it looked like during this crisis? So right now, for the past uh, for the past month and a half, a little over a month and a half, we've been uh, uh, most of it's been handled from home. So we have no public uh, coming in and out of the facility. Um, you know, all mail is still being processed as we're getting it. To the uh, our phone calls are still being answered, um, and, and we're doing business as usual as best we can. Uh, uh, not having the doors open. So just a limited cr crew over there. I've known for the meetings, the only person that's been on site for the uh, township board meetings has been Steve Kaplan and IT director Harry Palmer and so on. So there definitely are some, some pre serious precautions being taken at ta Town Hall. And as things reopen all throughout the state, different industries reopen, so do municipalities. And uh, how are municipalities being maybe required? Are they required right now to be putting together those plans? Yes, the, the last uh, governor's uh, orders um, said that uh, if, if you're going to reopen and bring staff back to the facility, you have to have a, uh, a restoration plan or a, a recovery plan. And so, uh, you know, the, the, the township of West Bloomfield has been working on this restoration plan for a little over a month, uh, believe it or not. It's uh, it started back uh, uh, back when I guess uh, you know, China and Italy were were in the middle of, of their issues, and, uh, and much of this plan really started with any research that they provided in terms of their plans for restoring operations. Um, so that's that's how long we've been working on it. And and you met, the township board met late last week to enact those plans. Uh, it, it's a it's a phased plan multiple phases multiple factors going in to how each step is is taken and then executed uh, just give us a little bit of an overview for those watching in west bloomfield and for others and other municipalities that are curious about how one of these plans yeah. looks give us just a brief overview brief overview you know just looking at the phases the first phase is really to bring back our supervisory and our directing uh, staff to to get the departments ready for the staff to return. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of work that's been done already in terms of our procedures, our requirements, our signage, our social distancing measures. Um, and, and really when they're coming back for the first phase, they're determining how to uh, conduct work at home and at the building uh, if we are not open and if we are open. So really it's it's a plan within a plan. These departments need to come back right now and, and, and uh, make their, I guess, internal plans as to how to conduct business, um, depending on where we are uh, during this plan. Um, that is the first phase. The second phase is um, it's going to return the staff to op, uh, to work. Um, I think currently we are looking at uh, uh, currently we're looking at uh, bringing the supervisory staff starting next week, um, and then. The following week, we're bringing back um, a, a limited number of our staff, and that's based upon what we believe is needed for phase three. Uh, <clears throat> during that time, you know, one of the one of the most underrated uh, issues with bringing back staff is that you know we we work from home, and we know that there's a whole there's a whole different uh, level of chaos or or um, you know different environment than it is at work. And to acclimate our staff back to being at work, I think is going to be one of the biggest hurdles um, in bringing back operations. Uh, so that occurs in uh, phase two, uh, bringing back the staff uh, through the week of uh, May 18th. And, and then later on, uh, later on, you also have phases in there that include limited public yeah. reentry and then uh, lifted restrictions on on who gets in to town hall from the public. And then eventually, the final phase is going to be a full return to normal operations, yes. but there's differences between these different phases. There's there's a time signature potentially between them, and there's factors that go in that decide whether you stay in phase one and move to phase two, or stay in phase two and move to phase three, or backtrack even if, if things uh, do pick back up regarding coronavirus numbers. What factors go into determining when you move phases, how you move them, and if you may need to delay that? Well, so you are 100% correct. The, uh, uh, 
um, you know, the plan was designed so that our township board could implement any phase by itself and still continue operations here at the township, which is, which is a, it's a unique uh, tool to have. Um, in phase three, we do introduce a limited amount of, uh, uh, of residents or visitors into the township, um, you know, and uh, we, we, we continuously monitor the news, uh, such as yourself, you know, we, we look at uh, uh, guidance from our uh, health department. Uh, we look at the CDC recommendations and, and the board takes that all into consideration before making uh, changes to the next phase. So you mentioned that the, the board's making this decision. Are they holding special meetings to do that? Is that something that the power goes to the township supervisor to enact that with the board's uh, permission? How, how is that being enacted specifically? So the, the board implemented the plan and, uh, and the board will ultimately um, you know, decide as to where the plan should go um, day by day. The supervisor will make those recommendations to the board. Okay, so the supervisor will make those recommendations and then and then township board moves from there and then the plan does move forward. So just to kind of go back and, uh, and as you prepare to bring people back to town hall, employees back and then eventually the public back, uh, during this crisis, with those that have been at town hall, what steps have been taken, safety measures and, and precautions, what steps will continue be, to be taken in each of these phases? We only have a couple more minutes uh, to keep the, the great numbers okay. that West Bloomfield has right now at town hall. Uh, Steve Kaplan mentioned at the previous township board meeting that zero out of the 91 West Bloomfield town hall employees have had, had, had a run-in with COVID-19 uh, thus far. How do you keep that up? What precautions is the township taking and will be taking going forward? So, you know, we have this, many of the preventive preventive measures that we see in the, you know, we go to the grocery store, we go to the hardware store, and we've seen the social distancing markers, we've seen the, you know, the plexiglass knees guards, um, you know, we are doing much of the same thing, uh, you know, and we are implementing a temper, temper, temperature measurement, uh, you know, arriving at work, and before you go home, because really this battle does not end just by coming into work. I don't, we don't feel that bringing this problem home is a solution either. So, uh, you know, we will be doing both monitoring coming in and, and, and leaving for home. Um, you know, the, the social distancing markers that we've seen at stores, they'll be on the floors. Um, our, all of the township staff um, will be helpful in guiding through some of these changes. We understand that, you know, stay at home. There are individuals that have actually stayed at home and have not seen these measures yet. So, you know, coming out, I, we don't want them to be afraid of town hall. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just changes there's a lot of changes that are that are done to protect everyone a lot of changes being done indeed all across the board but especially in our municipalities as they plan to make their reopening rob scripture the assessing director for west bloomfield township thank you very much for joining us today on the megacast thank you tyler thank you rob scripture assessing director from west bloomfield township